Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about what is blockchain. This presentation will be a very, I will say, interesting presentation. You will enjoy a lot. Let's start this presentation. So before talking about blockchain, it is very necessary that we should know who are actually inventors of blockchain. Now, if I will ask you, what do you think? Who is inventor of blockchain and who are inventors of blockchain? Please let me know in the comment below. I want to see what is your answer. I hope you have commented your answer, but I know most of you like what have actually commented there. Most of you might have thought that inventors of blockchain or inventor of blockchain is Satoshi Nakamoto. But let me correct you here. Satoshi Nakamoto is inventor of Bitcoin, but not blockchain. Inventors of blockchain are Stuart Harbour and W. Scott Stonata. So these are the two people who are actually inventors of blockchain. They have written a paper on it. I think it was the paper was of uh, around uh, related to digital signatures or something. I will share the link in the description so that you can also read it. Uh, it was around 1990. They have published this paper. So remember, inventors of blockchain are Stuart Huber and W. Scott Stoneta and not Satoshi Nakamoto. Okay, many of the times you will see this false information on the internet, but I want to correct you here only so that you do not get, you know, uh, get this that correct incorrect information. Now let's talk about what is blockchain. So as you can see on your screen that we have this blocks, right, connected with each other. And hence we have something like a blockchain, right? means chain of blocks but definitely you cannot define blockchain like this right so let us see a definition of blockchain let me tell you there is no fixed definition of blockchain but this is one of the definition which i think uh, you know identify the blockchain in the most good way so that's why we will take this definition so blockchain is a distributed immutable ledger which is completely transparent Okay, let me repeat it for you. Blockchain is a distributed immutable ledger which is completely transparent. Now, let us understand the meaning of this definition. Let us understand the meaning of each keywords that I am using in this, in this definition. That is ledger, immutable, distributed, transparent, everything. Okay, so I will start from ledger. Then we will go to immutable, then distributed, and then we will talk about transparent. Okay, so let's talk about what is a ledger. So a ledger looks something like this. So ledger is actually a place where you write all your debit as well as credit entry. So let's say you might have seen that whenever you go to a shop, let's say, or if you have, let's say, went to McDonald's or something. So what they are doing is they are actually writing each and every transaction. Like if we talk about a normal shopkeeper. Okay. So in that case, what they're doing is they are writing each and every transaction in their notebook that what amount they owe you or what amount you owe to them. Each and every transaction is actually being written in this ledger book. Okay. So this is the traditional approach which people use before computer. Sometimes you might see this, but now in most of the air, like in at this point of time, what you will see that people are using computer in order to write down all the transactions. So you might have seen that whenever you go to McDonald's and you buy something, they are writing each and everything in their calculator type of thing, right? And that's why that's how they are providing you receipt and everything. So what they are doing is actually they are recording the transactions like how much you are paying, how much the change they have given you, each and every transaction is being recorded in that ledger. Okay, so ledger is a place where transactions are recorded. Now, this is how real world operates. Okay, this is a real world ledger. If we talk about blockchain, in blockchain, the blocks of the blockchain act as ledger. So we have seen, right, that our blockchain is formed by various blocks connected with each other via chain. And this block in the blockchain works as a ledger for the blockchain where each and every transaction are being recorded. So let's say you are paying some Bitcoin to your friend. Let's say A sent five Bitcoin to B. Now this transaction will be recorded on this block of the blockchain. And then like this only if C is sending some transaction to D, some Bitcoin to D, in that case, that transaction will be recorded on this block of the blockchain. So this is the meaning of our first keyword. Second keyword is immutable. Now, the problem with this ledger is that this ledger is mutable or if we talk about databases, right, the centralized databases, all those type of ledgers are actually mutable. Mutable means you can erase the data, you can manipulate with the data. Like, for example, I can just remove this one of the pages from this notebook, right? I can completely erase 
one of the uh, written handwritings over this notebook if you talk about a database so the person who is in charge of that database can completely erase one of the transactions from the database so the thing with these ledger is that they are mutable you can mute them means you can change them but when it comes to this block of the blockchain these are totally immutable means once a transaction is recorded on this block of the blockchain you cannot change that transaction nobody can change the transaction that transaction is like permanent on this blockchain and how this is done we will talk about it so don't worry about it but now i just want to tell you like how what is the meaning of these keywords and why blockchain is so special okay so now we have understood the meaning of two keywords ledger as well as immutable now let's look at the third keyword so if we talk about a blockchain network this is how a blockchain network looks like okay so we have different computers here these computers are connected via p2p network which we will talk in our upcoming videos for now just imagine that these computers are connected with each other okay and each of these computers as you can see the that they are actually holding blockchain so a is holding a blockchain and exactly like whatever a is holding like the exact copy is hold by b means a and b are carrying the same blockchain c e and f are also carrying the same blockchain means all of these people are having the exact copy of the blockchain okay so all of these people are having the exact copy of the blockchain let's say a new block is created now how this is created we will talk in our upcoming videos just for now let's say that a creates a new block okay now he will add this block to his blockchain now what will happen a will start communicating this information to b c e and f okay saying that okay now i have created a block please see this block please verify and validate this block whether this block is right or not so what b c e f will do they will start verifying and validating this block whether this block is a malicious block or not or whether this block is a suspicious block or not if this block is a correct block what they will do is they will simply add this block to their blockchain if you will see right all of these people have added this block created by a to their blockchain and this is how blockchain is distributed in nature you can clearly see the block is getting distributed all across the network and that's why we call blockchain a distributed immutable ledger so this is like a is holding a ledger a notebook and a is distributing this notebook to all the people who are connected with him okay now what is transparent here so the ledger as you can see that ledger is totally available with everyone right whosoever is the part of this blockchain network so the ledger the transaction that these ledger will contain is totally transparent to the public anyone can see that transaction but there is a catch here these transactions are in encoded format so definitely people can see the transaction that okay someone has done some payment to someone but nobody will know who that someone is each and every data is encoded on the blockchain so that nobody can read it okay but the data is transparent in nature everything is totally public everyone can see everything but nobody will able to decode everything okay and that's why we call blockchain as a distributed immutable ledger which is completely transparent so i hope you understood the meaning of the blockchain definition if you enjoyed this video please do like this video and if you want videos like this please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly uploading new videos related to the blockchain on this channel only and on, if you want to talk to me directly you can join my instagram channel coditor instagram channel this in link is given in the description you can talk to me directly there or you can also join i will say and you can also join blockchain developer community we have 2000 plus blockchain developers on discord coditor discord channel you can join there also and you can directly ask your doubts there also so i hope you enjoyed this session if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below i will be happy to solve those doubts so meet you soon in the next video Bye-bye.